Hi everyone, this is Extreme RJ. I'm back again with another review video of the LBLA Aurora HD camera drone. This one is a foldable drone. This one has features such as foldable arm, 2.4 GHz series, headless mode, 1Q return, gyro system, HD camera, altitude hold. Let's quickly open the box and see what's inside. So this is neatly packed in a, in a foam box. You guys can see here. So let's open it and inside it you will find this is the controller. It's a nice uh, sweet controller. It has a good finish, it has a matte look, it's not glossy. And we have this instruction manual and there is this phone clamp. Then we have drop guards. We'll keep here. Finally, there is a drone. We have extra um, drop blades, two extra blades, and then we have a USB cable and a Phillips screwdriver. This is the actual drone. It's the size of uh, like uh, bigger than a palm size. Definitely, it, I suppose it's six inches um, wide, and the arms fold out like this. So this one is a, the size is uh, this one I would say it's a medium size quadcopter, plastic blades, has the brushed motors controlled by this gear. Underneath the quadcopter there is this on off switch, you switch it on, these orange and green lights start blinking. Then there is this uh, HD camera which actually can tilt forward and you can also tilt it all the way to the bottom. So it's tilted. Closer look. Red LED lights at the front as well. At the back of this quadcopter, at the tail, there is this battery. There is a micro USB charging. This one is a 3.7 volt, 900 milliamp hour lipo battery. So I suppose it's a good size battery. It should give you a good bike time. Let's come to the controller. This key is a headless mode. This one is a return to home. This one says lights. This one is camera. And this one is take off. This key is to land it, one key landing. These are all the trim buttons, I suppose. Then there are some shoulder switch. I suppose one is for the speed rates and the other one is for uh, the 360 flips. At the back, there is this battery compartment. Let's quickly open it. So this one takes four AA size batteries to power up. And here is the place to attach the phone mount so this mount uh, goes in like this and it snaps so this one seems to be pretty good it has a tight spring and it can hold it securely i must say yeah it's a good so let's get some batteries and power up so here are the batteries let's let's put it so this controller has powered up you can see the red lights and if i switch this on now and move it front and back and this controller and the quadcopter are connected you have to move the sticks forward and backward and this is connected so guys let's take it outside and do an outdoor flight review so we are outside and i'll do a flight review for this quadcopter so let's first do install the app and connect the phone to the quadcopter so this is the app if you guys can see it says f h d f p v you can download it from the app store and you can also scan the qr code on the given manual and it will take you to the play store or the app store page directly pre-install the app already now the next step is to connect it to the wi-fi switch it on switch on the drone there both the lights have stopped blinking so it's connected go to wi-fi if you're doing this for the first time and search for this connection hd 720p once it's connected we'll go back to the application and we'll click on play it will ask you for some permissions you can grant it and the camera is connected mount the phone switch on the video recording by pressing this icon it says recording started you can see the timer start this drone click on the takeoff button so the drone has taken off there is slight breeze it's trying to fight this one has an altitude hold position so it's maintaining its same altitude 
though the breeze is pulling it backwards. So what we can do is change the flying rate. This is in the lowest flying rate, it's still going pretty good. We can adjust the flying rate accordingly. And this one is very agile, it's good. Let's adjust the speed. You can adjust the speed by clicking on the left shoulder button. One press, hear the two beep sounds. Press it second time, you hear three beep sounds. So it's in the highest flying rate mode. And one beep sound is the lowest. So I'll keep it in the high flying rate because of the breeze. Take it a little higher. And uh, this drone is flying really well. You can see the speed. It's going good. You can track it using the lights, the green for the front and red for the back. So this is a cool flyer. It's getting dragged by the breeze. You can see the front LED red lights. They look really great. This is a very cool flyer with the cool headlights. You can easily track it where the front is. So I'll bring it a little closer to demonstrate the 3D flip. So the way to do 3D flip is press the right shoulder button you'll start hearing the beep sounds and then press the direction key so that's how it does the flips take it higher you guys have a better idea so we'll press the right shoulder button and the direction key and it will do the flip in that direction so that was the 3d flip it's pretty neat what we can demonstrate now is headless mode and one key return take it into headless mode by pressing this button it's in headless mode, you will start hearing the beep sound and I'll take off pressing this button and let's you can see the drone is moving forward no matter where it's facing so that's the headless mode guys now what we do is we can press the one key return and this drone should come back yeah it's coming back in the straight line of flight guys can see it's because of the breeze it's getting dragged i'm flying against the wind so that's a good idea so even if it's getting dragged by the breeze it's always gonna come back to you so you'll never lose sight of your drone now i see the led lights started blinking which means the battery is low i'll just do one key landing i press the one key landing and this drone is coming down you can still control it using the direction keys. Yeah, it's slowly coming down and it has landed. Props have stopped. So this was the flight review of the LBLA Aurora foldable drone with HD camera, which is 720p. I hope you guys have liked my video. Please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Support me. I'll do more such reviews. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day. Bye bye.